everybody, it's Emily from ARG Schooling, and I'm here today to talk about what's in our December morning time basket. I try to change things up each month just to keep it fresh. Certain things are always going to be in there. Some things we change out with the seasons, with the month, with the theme of the month, whatever. This month is kind of all about the holidays, obviously, so that's going to be reflected in what's in our basket. We're still reading Mally and Keela, which is just awesome, and we're just going to probably rotate through the stories over and over and over until we get the most out of them. And so we read one of these each week. I threw Story of the World in our basket because that way we definitely don't forget about it throughout the week. So we just read a chapter each week. Usually if chapters are broken up in like two to three sections, so we read a section here and there throughout the week and we just talk about it, discuss, we do any activities that I have planned in the Build Your Library curriculum. I also have the activity guide, so if there's anything really exciting, she's more into hands-on than my other kids were, so if there's a really cool hands-on something, we might do it from that. So that's in our basket each week, as well as Vincent's Starry Night, which I cannot say enough good things about this book. It is fantastic. If you haven't picked this up yet, you should. It's awesome. We're only a few chapters in, but I really, really like the way it's laid out. Each chapter covers a piece of art and it goes chronologically so the very first chapter is prehistoric art and it just works its way through we're finishing up with Egypt right now and so different pieces for Egypt there's a couple different pieces for Greece and Rome and so on and it gives a story about the history of the piece and like how it was made or what type of art it was so we've been kind of playing around with trying out different art techniques like this like this week, we read about Egyptian relief carvings, and then we got out some clay, and I gave her a stylus, and she made her own relief carving. Super easy, even for me, because I am not an arts and crafts person, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. I keep thinking that I might somehow turn this into a full year curriculum. I don't know, but I really love this. It's awesome. We're also, for this month, our read aloud is Charlotte's Web, because even though this isn't a Christmassy book, she's obsessed with pigs right now, my seven-year-old is on a pig kick. I don't know why, she just loves pigs. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to read Charlotte's Web. So we're about halfway through the book and she's loving it. And it's one of my favorites to read aloud. I love this book so much. For tales this month, we're reading through The Return of the Light, 12 Tales from Around the World for the Winter Solstice by Carolyn McVicker Edwards. And this is just a short little book about stories about the winter solstice and they're really well done and they're really short so it's easy to read one story a day or every couple days or whatever and get through the book and I love things like this where just like different cultures and it talks about different places around the world so we can go look it up on the map when we're done so that's our our tales we're also working slowly through this book what do you believe Big Questions About Religion. This is put out by DK. I have another one like this that's through Usborn, but I feel like that one's a little more older. So I thought this one looked more suitable for younger elementary age. And so we're just kind of working our way through. This covers all kinds of stuff. It has answers questions like, where does religion come from? And what did people believe a long time ago? What are the different religions that people practice around the world? And then a little bit about each one. So there's like a two-page spread for each religion that, that they discuss in this book. There's lots of stuff in here. It's a really well done book. It, it covers like everything a kid might ask about like wh where do you go when you die? What are prayers for? Things like that. So I think this is really well put together. So we're working our way through that. Our science is one small square of the night sky. Once or twice a week we'll pull this out and we'll just read a section. We're not really doing anything with it so much. Sometimes she might draw a picture. And of course with the holidays, I'm pulling out all our holiday books and we have tons. I'm just going to show you some of my favorites. <laughs> I'll start with, um, I have some kind of interfaith books. Like, we love Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins. This is one of my daughter's favorites because she loves goblins. They're hilarious looking in the book. So she thinks they're really funny, and she loves a good creepy story. So, you know, 
The pictures are really funny, and the goblins aren't so much as scary as just weird and silly looking. So she really likes the story, and my upbringing is Jewish. I'm not. I don't practice anymore, but because my my father's going to be visiting in a few weeks, and he practices, he's going to bring his menorah. So we're reading Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins. I also have. Um, the Trees of the Dancing Goats and Christmas Tapestry. These are both by Patri Patricia Polacco, and they're both kind of interfaith. They mix Christianity and Judaism together to tell Christmas stories, and I just think they're really well done. I love Patricia Polacco's books. Her art is stunning. Let me see if I can find a good picture. Like, I mean, I just think the art in these is really nice. I think these are really, really nicely done. So we have two of her books, and then we also, of course, can't have Christmas without Jan Brett. So I have the Gingerbread Baby, we have the Three Snow Bears, I also have the Wild Christmas Reindeer, but I forgot to grab that. And then, of course, classics like the Polar Express, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and that kind of stuff. We're just kind of working our way through our piles of Christmas books and just sort of savoring. This is pretty much all we're doing for school this month. I do make sure she gets a reading lesson a couple times a week and that she's reading daily to me. And that is really all. So that is what is in my December morning time basket this month. And I'm probably gonna do a video each month when we change things up, film a video of my basket and what we've been reading and studying and yeah. So do you do morning time? What's in your basket? Do you change it up each month just to keep things fresh? I'd love to hear about what's in your baskets and what you're eating and all of that fun stuff. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Happy reading. Bye!